Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Lorenz curve using Microsoft Excel, or you can do this with Google Sheets. It's the same, same process here. Okay, so I've got share of income by level in a country. I've got three countries. I've got Travistan, I've got a country called Wallace, and I've got a perfect equality. Okay, perfect equality is not a country. It's just a theoretical thing that I can compare the other countries to and see how uh, equal or unequal they are okay so on a Lorenz curve it's the percent of the population uh, and their income level okay so we need to put a a row here of data so we're gonna do zero because that's where the Lorenz curve starts then 20 then 40 then 80 then 100 and then all of these guys so this is zero percent of the population earns zero percent of the income and 100% of the population, regardless of the country, has to earn 100% of the income. Okay, where they differ is uh, the lowest fifth in Travistan. We'll just click right there, and then the lowest 40% is going to include this income plus this income, and then this one we can actually use the the sum function right here. Okay, it doesn't like something I did there, but that's okay. And then equals sum of all of this. Okay, and we'll hide that, that error. Okay, so then what's cool is I can just copy that down and it just copies the formulas. And you just want to check our work a little bit um, because we want to make sure. Okay, so right here, this should be 30. So 15 plus 10 is 25, is 30. And then 20, 20, 20 is 60, right? Looks right. Okay, so we've got, uh, we, now we've got our data. We're gonna highlight all of this. We're gonna go up here to insert, and you can pick uh, either that one. Some people like a slightly different one. Okay, I'm gonna go, and yeah, we'll go down there a little bit, okay. And we gotta change some stuff here. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And I want, oops, want income inequality. Okay, or you could say in income distribution or something like that. There's a problem on the, I only want the y axis to go to 100, so I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna go to format axis, and I'm gonna change that to 100. Okay, so just right-click, format axis, change that to 100. Okay, then on the x-axis, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click right here, right-click, format axis, change that to 100. Okay, now I've got my Lorenz curve. You could even make it a little bit taller. Now, if I want to change these colors, I like the perfect equality line to be black. Okay, so I'm going to click on that, right-clicking. I don't want the data point though, I want the whole thing. There we go. Format data series, and it's over here, it's this um, paint bucket type thing. Instead of it being gray, let's change it to black. And maybe we want Wallace to be something else, so we'll format data series, we'll change that to purple. And then maybe we want this one to be red. We'll change that one to red. Yeah, whatever you whatever you want. If you wanted more countries, you can have it, right? So this shows us that Travistan is uh, less equal in its distribution than Wallace, so we care about that sort of thing, uh, and that Wallace is the most equal because it's closest to that line of perfect equality, okay? Uh, and then what, what else is cool about this is if you come up here, I can change the data. So let's say something changes here where uh, maybe this is now seven, uh, well, actually, let's let's do it this way. Let's take 10% off of these guys. So we'll go down to 40%. We'll give these guys 5%. And we'll give these guys, where are we at? Off of it. I already see five more. Okay, and see it changed. It updated our Lorenz curve in there as I make the country more or less equal. Okay, so uh, moving that. And that's how to make Lorenz curve diagram in Microsoft Excel.